Okay, I'm sorry if you can hear the bird right outside my window, but he will not shut up. And sorry, I can't mess with nature. That's... I can't do that. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Kirielle and today I've caped. <laughs> now I don't like to admit this, but I am obsessed with TikTok. And I know you are too. Don't deny it. D don't don't deny it. <laughs> Yeah, I've become obsessed with TikTok and with that comes all these crazy makeup packs that I'm seeing and you know the viral ones that are going crazy and uh, I want to try them so you don't have to and I can tell you what's the real deal are they working are they a lot of crap we shall see and I'm excited because some of these things I've been wondering for a while now and I'm just like I just gotta do it I just gotta take one for the team and we gotta try it out <laughs> So, let's zoom you guys in and see if we can TikTok to the top. I hate myself so much. <laughs> okay, let's try these Okay, out. the first one I'm gonna be trying. You probably already know. You've probably already seen it and you could probably quote me. If you love makeup, watch. You already know what's about to happen. Okay, we're gonna try that viral trend that went around. It's not really new. Makeup artists have used this hack for years. And in fact, Jackie Aina preaches about it on her channel. So it's the one where you put on the powder and everything like that before your foundation. And I've really wanted to try this ever since I watched Jackie Aina. So I'm excited to give this one a go today. This is by someone called, uh, <laughs> Her username is Ryder Matt. Ryder Matt. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> That's just her username, but it's this girl right here. I bet you've seen her somewhere on your TikTok. <laughs> if you haven't seen her, then you probably listened to the audio. But anyway, let's see what she says I gotta do. Okay. If you wear makeup, watch. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Okay, so I need to moisturize. I have already moisturized a little while ago, but let's do it again, I guess. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer so I can give myself a little bit of a glow. I mean, we're gonna be adding powder on top, so I don't know <laughs> if it's gonna stay glowy, but we gonna try. Just put it on a light layer because as I said, I've already moisturized once. And then, this is the part where you put on the translucent powder. I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Translucent Setting Powder, Magic Powder, whatever it is, Magic Star Powder. She did say to take not too much, so I'm literally just gonna take the excess that's in the cap, swirl it right on into the brush, and then I'm just gonna tap over my moisturizer. It just feels weird. I've literally just moisturized my face to mattify. If that's not an oxymoron, I don't know what is. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this goes on to something, we shall see. My skin's got pores, it's got texture, you guys have seen my face up close and personal. And it's not the best skin in the world. I mean, it's not the worst either, but you know what I mean? I'm not a model. <laughs> Just gonna get rid of this burden. Let's do my add-in. <laughs> Literally. Okay, next, next step, please. <laughs> <laughs> then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. Take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens. So I powdered on my skin, but because of this moisturizer, I still have like a little bit of a glow, which I quite like. But my face feels matte and soft and smooth. So weird. I kind of like the way my skin feels. I thought it would be like textured and kind of like bumpy and feel dry, but it actually feels really nice. Okay, I'm listening a little more. Let's move on to the next step. Now I need to set the face with a setting spray. And she said she used the NYX one, so I'm gonna use that one as well. It's the Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Okay, let's let's try this. And this has to completely dry before I do anything else, so don't mind me. <laughs> okay, so now the setting spray has dried. She said to put on a primer. What kind of primer am I putting on? Like a liquid, a cream? If I put on a heavier silicone kind of primer, is that then gonna lift up the powder? Cause that's what I've got a feeling is gonna happen. It's gonna like ball up, you know? I kinda wanna use the e.l.f. primer, but then I feel like if I put this on, it's gonna move everything. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> so I'm going in with the e.l.f. putty primer and let's just see what happens. Not a lot, actually. <laughs> It's just gone over top like normal. There's no bunching up or nothing. What? To me, that doesn't make sense. But I'm not a scientist, I guess. <laughs> now she just says to put on foundation. So I'm quickly going to do that and I'll be right back. <laughs> 
All right, so listen, they might be onto something, okay? I can't tell if it's just, you know, the foundation and primer and all that, but my skin does look kind of smooth and I'm kind of shook. <laughs> There's some areas where I don't think it's worked, like my top lip, maybe a little bit on my nose, but the rest of my face looks really smooth. So I think this is something that if you strategically use this trick, then it would work. I don't know if it's gonna work for people with dry skin, I have like oily combo skin, but my pores look real smooth. They don't look non-existent, but they are minimized. Huh. Have I been missing out on this trick for years now? <laughs> Because I'm kind of impressed. Please ignore the fact I haven't got my concealer or anything on, by the way, because uh, I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna go quickly do it now. <laughs> Be right back. So, the next hack is by Danielle McCann. She's quite popular on there. And it's about nose contouring. This girl is absolutely gorgeous, so I wanna look like her too, you know? Basically, she's taking a dark cream contour. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty cream contour because what she's using is a lot darker than her skin tone and I'm a little scared. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Fenty cream bronzer in the shade Amber. She's using the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, which I really wanna try, FYI, but I don't have. So I'm gonna try it with this instead. I'm gonna load up my brush, I guess, and lift my arm up so I have more of like a straight line. And I'm just gonna start stamping. Oh. <laughs> Maybe this is a little dark too when it's all loaded up. Okay, um, but she takes it right down to the end of the nose. Oh, I've gone in way too dark, haven't I? Oh, dear me. See, the problem with this is not everyone has the same shape nose. I don't have the same shape nose as she does. You won't have the same shape nose as I do. So this does not fit everybody's face shape. No shape even. And then she goes across the bottom to kind of make it like a little bit shorter. I've used way too much cream to contour. And I've also made my nose a little bit crooked, so that's great. And then she goes across this section by here to make it look like a little button nose. And well, I look insane. <laughs> you see what's happening here? I have two different shaped nostrils, okay? One's bigger than the other. So when I'm placing the product down with a big brush like she was, she was just using the sponge tip applicator on the Charlotte Tilbury product she was using. It's gone further on this side because my nose is wider at the tip than it's on this side. So therefore, I'm just accentuating the misshapenness of my nose. <laughs> so quite work for me. But let's blend it out. Let's hope I can save it. What I also find troublesome is that she goes in with a brush and blends it. If I use a brush, it's gonna go everywhere. This is like a small area of your face that you're trying to blend out. And if you put so much product on there, like the darkness that she did, it's got nowhere to go. And mm, mm, help. I'm just trying to hope that this brush picks up all the product and I'm just praying. Basically, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for ages. If it was to just go in with a sponge, it would probably not take me as long. She was just going like this, as if that was gonna blend everything. I don't understand. So this is blended out as I can get it with the brush. Um, I need to bring in reinforcements because it's not quite as subtle as I would like it to be. So then once she's actually contoured her nose with a contour color, she reverse contours as well with a translucent powder and a sponge. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just going to brighten up the sides of the nose that we just darkened with our contour and try and make it look straight again. <laughs> All right, so there's the powder on my nose. I tried to fix up the shape a little. I don't think it really worked, but we shall see. To understand why people do this is to like brighten up the area, but I never find that translucent powders do that for me. I never feel like my face gets brighter usually. If you've got a deeper skin tone, then it works better, especially if you can get a colored one. Like if you have like a banana shade, it brightens up the area. But I am, well, whiter than paper, so this doesn't do anything typically for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, here we are. I'm gonna now dust this off um, and see if there's a difference because I guess this is a cream product So maybe it might have latched on and maybe brightened a little bit. We shall see. Like, do you see what I mean? It hasn't really made that much of a difference for me. Anyway, what's the next step? Just highlighting. That fixes it all. Okay, let's just highlight, shall we? <laughs> 
Alright, so my nose doesn't look too bad, but still, the title of this How to Contour Your Nose, it's just not fair. <laughs> because noses are not created equal and this is not gonna work for everybody. Okay, so the next one is for brows and it's where you kind of like map out the shape to fit your face. So So the first point of action is to find the midpoint of the bridge of your nose and the inner corner. I'm just going to use this brow pencil. So this is the bridge, this is the inner corner, and you've got to go in the center. Which is pretty much just the side of your nose. She just kind of marks it out, so I'm just going to do the same. I'm just going to get a line right there. I'm going to do the same on this side of my nose. Ooh, one is higher than the other, but it's fine. <laughs> then she says to connect the middle of your cupid's bow to the outer corner. To the outer corner middle of my cupid's bow to the outer corner of my eye so like this <laughs> it's very awkward to do on camera i'd say that's pretty much where my brow ends do it on this side yeah like my brows are ending in the right place which is great <laughs> so the arch is supposed to be measure from the outer iris see what i don't get about this is she's looking like this at the camera and then measuring it so the iris isn't gonna be in the right place surely you should be looking forward and then finding the arch no I am I wrong I don't I don't know <laughs> all right well I'm gonna do that anyway so I'm gonna match up from the outer iris from looking straight on I'm just gonna put a little dot okay so the arches of my eyebrows are a little bit further out than what this says it should be but then if I do it this way then it would be right do you see my problem I don't I don't get it. Ow, she just says to connect. I do not want to connect the way that she was connecting. She did a complete line across the top. And I just, my eyebrows are too thick and bushy for that. So I'm gonna do the bottom and I'm gonna lightly feather connect up here. Okay, I'm not gonna do a complete line. Oh, well, I guess that was. <laughs> Oops. I guess this would work for people who have less brow hairs <laughs> because my eyebrow pretty much matches everything and I've got pretty thick brows so I guess I don't really need this but I thought it'd be fun to try I mean I need brow help right now because it's been a while are your brow hairs out of whack as well I mean mine are always but <laughs> especially now she goes in with like a felt brow product to kind of make hair like strokes um I don't have one of those I would love to get one here the urban decay brow blade is good but I'm just gonna do it with my pencil I guess it does work for the right person maybe if you have less brow hair and you want a guideline of how to map out your brows then I guess this would work for you she goes in with soap to set her brows I'm just gonna quickly set them with this that hack is by Lily J9 if you're wondering. The next one is by Soph Does Nails, but I'm pretty sure she learned it off somebody else, so I'll put the name here of who she learned it off. But it's the faux frackle hack. Now, I am naturally a redhead. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and I know what freckles <laughs> look like. Okay, exhibit A. I don't think this is gonna give the same effect, okay? Because freckles are different in opacity, they're different in shape, they're different in color. I don't know if this is gonna create the same effect, but I guess we'll see. To me, they just make my face look uneven. And yeah, cute placed ones look good, but I've just never really got behind the freckle trend just because if I'm putting on foundation and, and everything like that, I'm doing it to even out my skin tone. Freckles don't really do that but that's just my personal opinion i think some women look amazing with freckles i think if you're proud of your freckles then you should just wear your freckles but anyway we're gonna be trying this freckle hack i'm thinking it's gonna get messy let's just hope my face doesn't end up looking like a muddy mess because that's where i have a feeling it's gonna go <laughs> okay Okay, so she is taking Urban Decay All Nighter Set in Spray and Benefit Hula. I do have that one second. Got it right here. First thing she does is she sprays a few sprays of the Urban Decay All Nighter into the lid. So I'm gonna do that. She didn't say how many. 
And then she fluffs up the bronzer, swirls around a brush a bit to get a bit of kickback, and then puts it in to the setting spray, mixes it up, and then splats it all over her face. I also don't know what brush she's using. I don't know how much bronzer I'm supposed to put in there, so I'm just using this little Morphe one to kick it up. Tapping off all the excess in here, and then she just pours it in. Oh god, it's going all over my fingers. And she just mixes it up, I guess, and it makes brown water. You guys see that? Just brown ass looking water. I'm gonna kind of like squeeze out the excess because I have a feeling if there's too much on the brush, it's just gonna go everywhere. I don't want it to go everywhere. And then she just flicks the brush by her face and it makes cute freckles on her. Let's give it a go, shall we? I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can feel it going everywhere. Hello? Did anything happen? I don't know why I'm holding the mirror like this. I'm just gonna load up my brush a little more because it doesn't seem like any pigment is coming out so I may have to add some more bronzer. Oh, right on my eye. <laughs> it's just going everywhere. <laughs> what does it look like? Literally nothing is happening. <laughs> Do you see any freckles? I don't, I don't see anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some more bronzer, see if that helps. Okay, there's loads in there now. If that don't work, I don't know what will. <laughs> Try this one more time. going everywhere man. Ow. It's going all over my eyes. It's not very precise. You know which freckles on? I've got a few random dots. Okay on my face. That's great. <laughs> Maybe able to see a little bit. A summon. It's nothing crazy. I feel a little bit more confident now so I'm gonna go in a little bit more. I, hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. Does not look good on me at all. Ah, it just like splattered my forehead. Great. Oh, look where I'm actually like putting it. Cause, oh, oh shit. <laughs> do you, do you see what just happened? Um, mm, what do I do about that? I guess if I just maybe, okay, tapping over it. I saved it. It's fine. There's like one on my face that kind of looks a bit like a freckle. And that's like right on the tip of my nose. I look like I've been on like a dirt track or something. Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think I look like I've got a freckled face? Or do I just look like I just rolled around in mud a bit? Because I can't quite see the resemblance. <laughs> I don't like this. It has not worked for me. I'm gonna go over with my foundation brush to kind of like, I don't know, subdue them a little bit. Maybe this will make them look a bit better. Right now they just look like little splodges on my face. Going over them with a little bit of my foundation has made them look a little bit better. Do I think they look like freckles though? No. <laughs> I'm all over my eye and everything. Oh God, they are not going for my nose. Spent all this time on my nose contour for this to happen. <laughs> So I, I don't think that hat worked. It was messy and it was uncontrollable and it just kind of went everywhere and it, well, it didn't work for me. Maybe it worked for other people. Like Soph looks amazing and her freckles look really cute. Mine don't. Thank you. Next. Okay, next up is gonna be a mascara hack. So I'm gonna quickly go finish off the rest of my face and then we'll zoom you guys in and we'll see if this mascara hack works or not. Okay. Be right back. Okay, I quickly just did like a little something, um, mainly blush, as you can probably see. <laughs> I kind of did a bit of a monochromatic look with cream blush, um, for TikTok. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, let's move on to the next hack. <laughs> this is where this girl puts on mascara and then uses a blow dryer to blow her eyelashes up so they look more curled. I don't know. I guess it works like, you know, blow drying your hair or whatever. We shall see. You guys know I have pretty much non-existent lashes until I put mascara on because they're blonde. On this side of my face, my eyelashes are a little bit more curled, so we're gonna be using it on my sad side to see if it helps this side over here. We shall see. Just gonna apply some mascara as normal on this side so you guys can see like a before and after even though you've seen my lashes many a time on this channel. Let's zoom you guys in so you guys can see properly. Hello. Okay, so that's one eye all done. Let's just quickly do the other one. This is the Fenty one, if you're wondering. So it does kind of curl my lashes anyway. And now 
while my mascara is still wet. I've got my hair dryer. I'm going to blow my eyelashes up. This feels all sorts of wrong. I'm supposed to keep it on the cool setting, so I'm gonna do that. I can't talk while I do this, obviously, so be right back. <laughs> Do this, I don't understand. Is it did it blow them up? I can't I couldn't feel anything happening to my eyelash. I'm gonna have to look up on the actual footage of that because I couldn't feel it. Oh has it killed them more? I'm not quite sure. What do you think? I think it might have, you know, for like two seconds it might have. Hmm. Let me try a little bit more. I actually think they might be sticking up a little bit more than usual. Okay. And they are dry. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but they are definitely dry. I think this worked, everybody. I'm gonna add a little bit of bottom mascara, and that is the eyes done. I think I'm gonna do it on this eye as well, just to see if it's gonna make a difference. So this is the before. Hold up one second for the after. You know, I don't know how good this actually is for you. Well, then add to watch your eye, but I think it actually has helped. I think it's just lifted some of the lashes that were just a little bit stubborn. I'm kind of shook, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, I actually might like this hack and uh, may use it. In the future, if my eyelashes are a little bit stubborn and don't want to curl. Okay, next hack. <laughs> that hack, by the way, was by Miranda Lynn. Okay, the next one and the final one I'm going to do is by somebody called Cereal Milk. <laughs> uh, some of these usernames, y'all, I don't even know. Um, and it's a hack to make your lips look like that kind of like rounded top lip, you know, like Pocahontas kind of lip, you know, beautiful. I have quite a prominent Cupid's bow, so I don't know if this is gonna work for me because I have tried in the past and it doesn't quite work. Um, but let's see what she says to do. Hi, I'm gonna show you how to transform your lips um, and make them look like this with no Cupid's bow. You're seeing with nothing on my lips, so you're gonna take concealer and you're gonna put it here. And then you're gonna blend it out and then you're gonna wanna carve out the shape of the lip that you want. She has nothing on her lips, so I'm just gonna take off. What I got on, which is just the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, if you're wondering. <laughs> and then she says to put concealer by here and by here. So we're kind of like cancelling out the sides of our lips. Okay. <laughs> and she wants you to blend it out. She kind of blends it all over the lips. So what was the point in putting it in these strategic places? Okay, and then she carves out the shape that she wants. She used a makeup wipe. I don't actually have any. So I'm just going to use a Q-tip with some micellar water. Kinda of does it like that. Can I see it coming together? I don't quite know. <laughs> Am I doing it right? I don't know. <laughs> I think I might have the general shape. I guess the trick is, is to make your lip look shorter in width and longer in height. Maybe, I'm assuming this was gonna happen. Next step, please. <laughs> you're gonna take chapstick or lipstick or whatever you want. I'm taking these in this. And you're gonna fill them in. And then you're gonna take some blush and put it on your cupid's bow. You take some bronzer or some contour and you're gonna put under your lip. Oh, okay. So she then goes in with just a lip balm. I'm gonna go back in with my cream blush because I've been liking this to do a full look recently. It's just simple and quick and it looks nice. And I'm just gonna fill in my lip. My top lip, I am actually gonna take like a little lip brush just for a little bit more control. She just fills in the area that we basically mapped out ourselves, which you could still see my cupid's bow prominently. I just look like I've given myself a smaller lip. I'm just gonna go over my cupid's bow just a little bit because that's what it looks like she does. Okay and this is when it seems like magic happens in the video because all of a sudden she looks like she's got a really cute little lip and it's because she adds blush over the top of her cupid's bow and it mattifies it and just makes it look like it's her lip. It's still got that shine so we want to remove that so I'm gonna take some blush and I'm just gonna press over that I kind of did that messy but it kind of looks like it works. Does it? Maybe not. <laughs> I think I got a bit excited a bit prematurely. 
I'm just gonna tap over the rest because this is a very orangey blush and I put it over a coral colored lipstick without thinking. <laughs> if you want to do this, I guess you need to match the blush to the lipstick or whatever you're using. Does it make me look like I've got a rounded top lip? Do I look like Pocahontas? I think maybe if you're very far away, then yes. I don't know about this one. I really wanted it to work but I just don't know if it does. I think it is a good idea to use blush though. That ultimately changes it. I feel like if you were to use a translucent powder, it doesn't quite work this well, but I also just maybe think I didn't do a good enough job. <laughs> but I like the concept, but I still think you can kind of see my cupid's bow. That was going to be the last hack, but then I remembered I have another one and it's about applying your false lash glue first and then the false lashes, which I guess kind of makes sense. That's gonna be the final one. So this is by Nikki's Secret. And yeah, basically she just gets a lash glue with a brush and brushes it on the actual lash band and then applies the lashes. An easy way to apply your false lashes. Apply your mascara first. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Take a lash glue with a brush end. Apply the lash glue to your top lash line and then apply your lashes safely and securely on top. And there you have it, lashes in under two minutes. And it makes it easier apparently, so let's zoom you all in. All right, so I don't have the glue with the brush tip applicator, but I do have the one with the paddle. And I have got a brush that I have actually used for glue before for like gems and stuff, so I don't mind using it. So I'm gonna use this, it's a very small pointed little crappy brush that I bought off like eBay or something in a massive set. So I'm just gonna stamp it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so now that is on there, I'm gonna go in with some lashes. These are just like quarter ones. I'm gonna try and stick them on. I guess this would work better if I had more of like a dramatic look on, I don't know. Okay, I am gonna say that was quite easy to apply them. I just think I've gone a bit crazy with the lashes I've chosen. <laughs> I don't really have natural lashes, you know. I'm gonna squeeze them to my actual natural lashes. So it did make the lash, sorry, I think I look insane right now. It did make the lash really easy to apply. I will say that. Let me do my little phone trick and see how close I am to my actual lash line because this is the way that I check. I use my phone camera, put it on the front facing camera, take a picture while I'm looking down then I can see where my lash is actually at and whether it's coming astray or if it's secure on my actual lash line. So let me just have a look. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty secure on my lash line there. That looks pretty seamless, actually. What? Have I been missing out on a trick all this time? I'll probably take this off now, but it worked. And it made it so easy. I thought it was going to be really finicky. Kind of shook on that one, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, this is the way I'm going to be doing my lashes from now on. What's great about that as well is if you accidentally put your lash down, like, on your eye or something like that, you're not going to get glue there because it's where you need it to be. Why have I not thought about doing this sooner? All right, well... That's it for this video. Let's, uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I forgot to put my earrings back on. I took them out to do a TikTok and <laughs> if you're all confused, that's why, okay? I'm hooked. Okay, I'm hooked. I don't know what to say. Let's talk about these hacks. Some of them worked, some of them were questionable. Like, I really didn't like the freckles one. And also, what do I do now? I've just got a load of brown liquid in my cap. So that's great. To me, it just feels a bit of a waste of setting spray, so I don't really like that one. The powder underneath the foundation, I actually quite like, and my skin still looks quite good, so I'm happy about that one. Also, the whole blow dryer thing on the eyelashes, I think it worked, but I do feel like my eyelashes might have drooped a little, so I don't think it's long lasting. Just get yourself a good mascara, okay? Make a revolution, the mascara, really good. The Fenty Full Frontal is pretty good. The L'Oreal Bambi False Lashes Mascara. Maybelline The Falsies, which I did have in my collection, but it's gone walkie somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where it's gone. I wish the lip one had worked because I love the way that looks. It looks so cute. I think in theory it does work, but when you're actually looking at it like in a day-to-day -day basis, you can still see your natural lips. I mean, it's good for a photo, but it's not gonna really work in day-to-day -day life, which I guess is normal. <laughs> And also, the whole putting on the lash glue before, genius. I literally don't, I don't know why I never put two and two together, because that is just an, a, a genius thing to do. But I'm definitely gonna be doing that from now on when putting on my lashes. It just seems like the right thing. And I don't know why people have not been doing this sooner. <laughs> well, they probably have, it's just I'm just stupid and haven't. 
the whole nose contour thing. You guys know how I feel about that. It's just not gonna work for everybody. It works for some people and it makes them look great, but it's not gonna work on everyone. So the title it, how to contour your nose, it's just a bit generic and it doesn't work for everyone. Let me know, are uh, any of these hacks something that you're gonna try? Have you tried any different ones? If you have, please let me know down below and how they went. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. I like learning new tricks all the time and you're never done learning, even when it comes to makeup. But anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, bye guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to my... Wow, I haven't even started the video and I'm already making mistakes. It's just great. <laughs> Why is it as soon as I stop filming the birds decide having to sing along? <sighs> Y'all. Someone wants some attention. Literally looking in to my window at me. <laughs> I'm gonna use a look. Why? <laughs> my shoes are just full of my dry hands. I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star. I'm gonna use the Dar- What am I gonna use? I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star. Why do I keep staying straw? Why can I not speak to it? I think if you're- If they- <laughs>